All right, it's time for another draft. Boulder Skate, here we go. Pack one, pick one. Fiend Lash, that's a good rare. What else is good? This one is nice because whenever a crit creature is dealt damage, then it deals damage equal to its power to target uh, player planeswalker. So this one is really, really, really good. Uh, good removal here. Another piece of removal. This one is fine. Yeah, 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 I like this. It's an easy pick. This removal is fantastic. But yeah, we're gonna go with the Fiend Lash here as a first pick. Let's see, do we do Kalein or do we go for the Axe and go some kind of mega equipment? Crazy deck. Yeah, no, I think we go Kalein here, right? Equipped creatures, base power and toughness 10. That's pretty fun. Damn, that's a fun card. I think Kalein is just a big, better, better card here. What do we do from here? What do we have for us? We have the unexpected windfall, is fine. The orb, I think this one is slow. I'm not super pumped on this one. Hmm, maybe this one. I mean, it synergizes with the Kalein it, uh, in the way that it gives us treasure token. So we are the second pick or third pick, but let's go. We have a dragon. Oh, the war caller. I think that one is super good. I'm going to pick this quite highly because they are really good in an aggressive deck. That one is great. Minthara is absolutely fantastic too. I think the removal is better though. Might be wrong, but yeah, let's go. Uh, gain control could be fun. Do I have any ways of sacking stuff? Like sacking creatures? Yeah, maybe deadly dispute. Stealing something and sacking for a deadly dispute, that would be a nice play. Uh, oh, this one will, nice, nice, okay. Sure, I'll take it now. Up to one target creature, you control five target creatures you don't control. And then you exile it. And when this specializes, create a token as a copy of the exile, but it has double strike in haste. Okay, that's cool. Meh, nice top end. Coalesa. What do we have here? Uh, mill four. I don't know if we want to mill. Maybe we want to play this and make opponent sacrifice stuff if we have small guys to sack maybe or maybe we just want to have thieves tool to create a treasure i don't know oh this one creates treasures that is actually pretty good Ooh. Uh, let's go with the barbarian ramps us into bigger spells hmm i don't like this Blocks it. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's gonna die to some random bullshit. This one is fine. Hook her, maybe. Maybe. It's a good value. Okay. Shambling ghast, or are we gonna dragonborn here? This one is really good though. Exiled a creature from opponent. Maybe we go Cobalt War Caller. Yeah, let's go. I, I mean, this one is so good. Ooh, another one of these. Ooh, this is great because this one creates treasure tokens. Cast down though. Yeah, I probably need to take the cast down. If we're lucky, we will the red card. I really don't think we will. But I don't think you pass a cast down. Okay. Indestructibility. This one is super good. Barbarian. Some tricks. Oh, another Kalein. That's really dope. Okay. Okay. I feel this. And we might even consider another unexpected windfall. Just to create more treasures. Definitely playing the horde robber now. Red Dragon. 
a third kobold, but let's go with the red dragon here. Don't mind giving this one haste. That sounds like a good move. Give it haste with the war caller, attack in, turn 6. Or even turn 4 with the barbarian. Play out your lands. You go, let me see, can you do that? So yeah, yeah, uh, kobold war leader on turn 1, barbarian turn 2. Anything on turn three. So how do we do this? The imp or the dragon here? The dragon, I think, yes, for the treasure production, right? Goes better with our deck. Hook corner. Let's go with these. I don't know if they're good, but maybe. Hook corner. Oh, another treasure dragon. That fits pretty good, this deck now. Oh, there's another unexpected allies. Another horde robber. I think we go with the horde robber. Yeah, horde for the horde robber. Yeah, for the um, uh, treasures. Fireball, please. Thank you. Let's go. Mm. What does this one do? Creature you can throw in madness, maybe. Probably not gonna play it though. Thief tools, yeah, super slow. I'm not super stoked about this, uh, the slowness of this combo, but horde uh, robber into thieves tool is nice. You get a treasure every turn, but damn, that's a slow little combo. What the hell is this? Oh yeah, yeah, this is good. This is great. And Skullport Merchant is great, Green Bounty is great, great pack for us here in black. This one is easy. We want to two drop. Indestructibility is good here. Oh my god, this is a bomb if I've ever saw one. The Hourglass of Coven. When this Hourglass of Covenant's battlefield draft a card from the Hourglass Coven spellbook twice, then put those cards on battlefield. So you basically get two warlocks here that are super good they have different abilities but all of them are like super good so easy pick for us damn deck is looking nice hmm it's a nice little raktus deck we need three drops though yep three drops for the win mind spike is good meteor is good deadly deadly dispute is great I think we go with the meter golem. Is that too high on the curve though? Yeah. Let's go. Oh, we can reanimate something. But I think this one is better though. I like this one quite a bit. Damn, black seems to be open. So many good cards. So, enchant creature has 3 plus 2 in haste and attacks each combat. Then you can return this spell and attach it to another one and then the creature gets a little bit less every turn. Okay, that's pretty interesting. Not bad. I'll consider this. Double team. Easy. Great card. Don't think I'm gonna go with the thieves tool play. Oh, another one. That's great. I have so many. This deck feels really tight. Do we do here? Nothing that tickles my fancy. Oh, this one is super good. Yeah. This one, yeah, baseline is a, you know, 2 1 death touch, but it draws your card most of the cases because I will never block with it, so. Mind Spike Wheel. We're gonna have a hard time. We have so many playables here. Okay, let's see if we can put together something cool. I think we will be able to have some ideas. I want to play this. Let's see here. Okay, let's see. So, maybe one of these. Cast down is good. Yeah, drop one of these. Not gonna do that, that's too slow. Probably not. Ah, actually, this one is pretty good now that we have that many creatures that with the same name. Maybe, maybe not. 
Sacrifice. This one is pretty cool. Maybe. Probably not. Game control. Nah, we don't have a good many enough ways of sacking. I have the beholder. It's a little bit slow. Man, we have too big of a top end. Drop this. Do we drop the gut fanatical too? We have uh, ways to bruise treasures. We can ramp to these cards fairly easy, so maybe not. So let me see. Mind spike. Dropping mind spike. Maybe dropping this one. Play it like this. How's this looking? So we have some. We are lean on removal, but we have one, two, three removal spells. Kind of like it though. Let's take this for a spin, see how it plays. We just have to be mindful not wasting removal on stuff that is not necessarily necessary to kill. So we're up against Mike. Or Make. Wow. Pretty good. It's um, legendary though, so we won't be able to play both, but I don't mind having them. Uh, okay, it's pretty good turn. Pretty good, giving this a buff. That incentivizes him to block it. Three, three barbarian is not bad either. Okay, null hunter. That's fine. Let me go with this. Next turn we can go, we could even go with this one, make it a 4-4, that's pretty beef. Sure. Let's see what he has here. I think we double spell though. So I'm gonna play this with the buff. The barbarian with the outer buff. Good. This one eh, I'm playing with a buff just because he, he, he don't want to block it. And uh, so then I get him for more damage. So either he needs to trade. That's very interesting. I'm super happy to take that. Mm hmm. See, I don't have anything in my yard yet, so this one is not uh, a ace right now. What can this one become? What's the Rectus version of this card? Could it... Menace, okay, that's pretty good. A Prism, that's fine, he draws a card. Okay, fine. Now we can double block my Prowler if he wants, but then he loses two creatures. So let's go like that. We go in with this. This. Nice. Enter. I nice stab this removal. Nothing here is too too scary. This one is good. Can create a lot of value if he has lots of dragons. He has mana. He can play his big dragons. Okay, this surprises me, I'll take it, I'll raise him, he probably has a trick and I'm gonna trade with my guy, ooh, <laughs> that's pretty good, okay, so who gets the, this buff then? This one is already super dangerous. Maybe Kalein actually. Just to spread the love here. No, oh, why not? Why not? Then we have three attackers. Uh, doesn't matter. We have nothing in the yard. If he has a trick here, then good for him. Don't 
Don't mind losing my Kalein here too, because then I play my new ones. That's why I put it on this one if you want to kill this one. Linen, okay. Fine. That's fine. I wish I had. Yeah. One mana short of causing this. Sucks. This one is. Mm hmm. Cool. Let's go. The race is on. Next turn I'll probably shoot the Null Hunter. Yeah. So this one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Is yeah, he's one mana shy of casting that. See if he draws a land here. Take it. Maybe I need to kill the scale singer. It is dangerous. It's a little bit gambling letting letting him have it. Let's attack him first here. See what he does. We're delivering quite a punch here. Hope he does the trick again. Perfect. Then he loses this card. So it's quite a blowout. Sorry. Okay, good stuff. Now he needs to block this prowler soon. Still not know. Oh, there's a mana. One, two, three, four, five, six. But now he lost his. Uh, what the hell did he have? That I thought he could. Yeah, he had a treasure, right? He had a treasure. Now we can't cost this one. It's fine. If I should go in with everything here, he will probably. I think I should. This one doesn't do anything in this game anymore, so. Good place here. There's still no man. Ah, there it is. But will this save him though? Have lethal. GG. I don't have lethal, do I? Damn. Yeah, no, I have actually with this one. looks good wow a little bit slow but a little bit good too so I'm gonna keep it and we have the this one is good for ramping us into uh, the big spell here the wing cons so I'm probably gonna play this turn four in order to create the treasure tokens to play this on turn damn that's a good uh, draw damn that's a good draw we get the, this one going off. Cool. 
could actually keep could keep this one to discard to the unexpected windfall. Nah, let's just go aggressive while we have the chance here. That's actually pretty fantastic. We'll give that one haste too. Come on. Come on. We can. Damn, this is super aggro. We might just win with uh, that way. I'm kind of tempted to cost. Uh, let's see here. I'm tempted to cost like uh, these kind of spells when he stepped out from blue, so he doesn't have counters. But let's see what we do here. Thinking this one, I can buff. We can also. Maybe I should just uh, I'm gonna give uh, this one haste so it has that perpetually as for later uses and then we're go, gonna go in with these guys Then let me see here. How do I do this? I can pop this. Probably worth it. Or I can just fire off this one. Yeah, let's do it like this. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. So now we have six mana. Excellent. That's perfect. So now he's tapped out, so we'll be able to play the Hourglass Coven uh, for free. We could also play this and just fight something. Surprised that he didn't... Uh, uh, he maybe wants me to block with this. Uh, oh no. Interesting. Very good. Okay, let's go. Play this. At the beginning we upgrade create a skeleton, nice. And at the beginning of your upgrade create a skeleton, another one, damn, that's good. At the beginning of your upgrade target creature your opponent control gets minus two until your next turn. Each opponent mills five cards. Okay, let's go. Let's mill him. And then we can tap this, activate this to give another one of our cards just haste. And we just pass the turn. Nice. Pretty good. Damn. And hopefully we draw untapped mana. We go in for uh, attack with this guy. That's fine. I'll race you. I'll race you no, tr no problem. Boom. Give me skeletons. And mill him. Damn, that's a fast clock. Yup, there we go. Yeah, 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 and then we fight. What do we wanna fight though? Maybe we fight this. No, nope, he considered there. Cool! Very good. We would have gone in for the full attack probably. We had a lot of damage and creatures. Sweet. Deck is performing, I must say. So we're two up. Hourglass Coven. Exoid. Ooh, oh my god, this is a good hand. I love it. 
and we have a okay so basically we have the war caller and we can attack in with Kalein. And then we have another uh, card here to um, um, to create treasures for Kalein. so really darn good start and we can maybe we'll see if we can sack a land since we're flooding a little bit maybe we can sack a land to the this to playing this card if we draw any more lands up until you know turn four which we probably will so pretty stoked about this hand and we're on the play too so mm, this is gonna opponent is gonna get going for a ride here I wonder I wonder what is opponent thinking about is he not present I mean play a land how many plays can he possibly have to consider turn one Aha! Okay, well, let's go. I'm gonna do this. I, whoop! Doesn't have to give this one haste, but why not? I could have attacked with this guy and it would have been the same result. Maybe even better actually, because I would have had this one untapped. Doesn't matter. It has perpetually, so if I, if I would have any way of getting a recurrent, like, reanimate this from the yard, then it's gonna be valuable that it is... Oh, that's fine. Oh, that's actually this is aggressive. That's pretty cool too. Maybe I should just equip and I go in for four here. Kind of like that play a little bit. Let's start by giving this one haste. Next. No, I fudged up. Okay, now now I really... Okay, damn, did I uh, fuck this one up. Oh my god, what did I do? Oh, <laughs> I went into combat. Now I almost want to cast this one, but I don't want to waste my... Oh, fuck. That was a huge misplay. I missed out on 4 damage on OP here. Damn, that was a misplay. Hmm. That's fine. Kalein. I have a... Is this a treasure now? Yeah. What? Kind of. So let's see how we do this. I'm gonna definitely... I'm gonna cast this for sure. Discard this one. Put some gas. Put some more treasures. Do I go in with this? I think so. Resect this one. Yeah, black. And this for red. Going like that. Let's see if it trades. I'm fine with this. Grows me a card. <sighs> no, okay. Then we activate this and give this one haste. Cool. We need to draw some bombs here. We screwed up a little bit. We missed out on four damage, so that feels bad. We'll see if that becomes relevant. Ooh. Uh, okay. So what we can do here is play this. Use this one's haste ability to give this one haste. Or the rover and then we play that one with haste and then we're gonna give it a buff and then we just go for it looks good Whoa. let's go Let's see what he has in store for us 
Uh, Okej, okay. jump blockers. See if it uh, quadruple blocks here or if it just takes down my prowler. Fine. Then I get treasures. That's what my deck wants. Damn. Cool. can tap this just to make him think that this is a, a creature. Uh oh. That sucks. But I'd rather have him use it on a horde robber than anything cool that I have later. Okay. Pass. Sure. Pass. No blocks. Pass. And then I'm gonna tap like this and make him think I have something. Then I'm gonna keep this one for discarding to any specialized creatures. And then let me see here. Can I do anything here? Nope. Pass the turn. Damn, we need that one of our big bombs. Is this instant speed? That's good. He can attack, but I'll sack one of my Cobalt War Caller to block the watch guy here. Maybe I should shoot it so it doesn't get two though. Hmm. Ah. Nah. I'll take it. Okay. Could also raise him. Pass. Block one. Okay. That's fine. Hmm. Oh, that's that's worth shooting. Nice. Okay, come on, big bomb. It's not a big bomb. It's not uh, the worst. No, I forgot to give it haste. Oh, now I have actually missed out on. Uh, actually, I'm gonna use use my land. Um, now I've missed out on um, uh, 3 damage plus 4, 7 damage, so he would have been down to 7 here, should I have not misplayed. I'm gonna keep this. Yeah, 7 damage, that's gonna matter. I'll take this, because just, haste is just too good, if I draw a good one. 7, damn! Actually, that's pretty good. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll keep it. It's not great. He will sack one token. I want to get rid of his token before I use this. I'm going to take another round of damage here. Okay. That's pretty good. Now I would have won the game if I have had that additional uh, damage. Because uh, he, remember, he was down to seven. And then. What? Why didn't it have attack with haste? So I missed out on another four damage here. Damn. Oh. Okay, so I missed now. Seven, eight. 8, 9, 10, 12 damage. I'm uh, like playing like a champ. Oh my god. Oh, I feel so bad. <sighs> yeah. Damn, it feels so, 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 so bad. Mm -hmm. My turn. Okay, well, that's good, but it's also frustrating. So I'm gonna equip here and go in. And I'm gonna re equip so he can't attack me here so easily. 
The problem is I don't have uh, mana up for using this, but it might be fine. Needs to act. So if I die now, I'm gonna be so furious. I won even though I massively misplayed at at least three occasions. I could have had 12 more damage. Oh, I didn't deserve to win this one, but I'm happy I did. I am grateful for that. Deck is doing a number though. The Cobalt Warcallers are MVPs, I think. Oh, we're up at the Masters. Okay, let's go. Ooh, war caller into Horde Robert. Am I on the play? No, opponent's going first. Oh man, that sucks. That would have been quite something. Just Horde, uh, Cobalt war caller into this one, uh, giving a taste, giving me a treasure. We might, we might still make that happen, but it's very, very much unlikely that OP has no turn one or turn two play. Uh, could happen. Let's go. See, if he doesn't drop by creature here, then I'm gonna feel pretty good. But he does, of course. Oh, but he might not wanna trade there though. So that's actually pretty good. So like that. Or he most definitely don't wanna trade. Nice. I think it's worth it. Yes, he will get a double team guy, but I get a treasure that rams us. Oh, this one we need to kill. Kill it on sight, that's not legendary. Non legendary creature, that is legendary. Damn! Okay, that's fine. So then I will just activate this on this and play it. Let's go for it. No death touch here, right? Yeah. Uh, sure, you can get it. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm, that's good. Oh man, I love this card. Okay, he's going uh, full on, full on ham here. Do we have a token? No. Mm, damn. Damn, damn, damn. Yeah, I'll have to pass unfortunately. Do we cast down his death toucher? I don't think so. We let it just hit me. Mm. So annoying that this one is uh, legendary. Hmm. Well, we'll shoot it with the with the fireball instead next turn. What happens when he specializes this? Pass. Do we wanna trade here? Give him a card. I don't think so. Ooh, that's good. Then we're gonna shoot this. Hope it resolves it did. Damn, that's really nice. Then I'm gonna go in with Treasure man. Do I gonna go in with this one? Yeah, let's go in with both actually. If you wanna double block this one, I'm fine with that. Okay, that's fine. It's even better. Okay, and then we're gonna actually not do that. End of turn, we do that. I think I might consider blocking here. No? Activate. Nice. Do it with the Kalein down, so we're gonna do this. So we go like that, and then we go like this with the treasure. And then we just go in here with everything. Doesn't matter who we go in with. Nice play. Then oh, that's fine. 
do we want to cast down to save Kalein? Do we care? Oh, I don't think so. We save the cast down for something more scary. Nice, now we have lots of stuff in our yard for pumping. One, two, three creatures. That's fine, perfect. Perfect uh, uh, kill target. It's not led in there, yeah. Come on. So, lethal. Push. Even game though. He needs to play something here. Both are on top dry. Oh. <laughs> nice! I gave him that. Oh my god, that was nice. Okay. That sucks a little bit. I'm a little bit sad about that, to be honest. Ugh. Ugh. Oh man, that feels so bad. Is this game over now? Yeah, probably. He's so down, uh, low on life. That if I top draw my dragon, I win, basically. Yeah, that's not great. Okay. So when he specializes... Yeah, that's gonna be problematic. Okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. But top drawing our dragon wins us the game. So this is the game plan for now. That's fine. You go ahead and do your thing. Come on. Oh no, now it gains two life. Oh damn, so... So... I really need to kill him. I need to drop draw it now, basically. Oh wow, that's awesome. I'll take it. Come on, come on, come on. Top drawing it now. Ooh, come on. Ooh, that's actually a really good draw. That's a super fantastic draw. Come at me, bro. That's fine. Can kill it. Fine. Hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Activate. Activate. And activate. Nice. We wipe a little bit of the threats. See if he has a trick here. Then I get a little bit sad. I guess he's gonna excite like all my cards. Yeah. That's fine. And the sucky part here is this dragon will kill my Cobalt War Cobalt, so I won't have the haste anymore. So that sucks a little bit, but we're still like top drawing our dragon and we win the game. Or actually, no, not after he played this, then he will have six life. Hmm. Come on, can you do anything? Oh no, oh no, that was sad. Damn, that's super sad. Okay. Yeah, this looks grim. Oh. Still need to draw my dragon. What else could I draw? The hourglass of Coven would also be super good. Sucks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Top draw, come on. Like a mouse. Am I dead here? Four, five. Uh, no, not completely. 
pass like that, like that, and pump. Four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I'm dead, right? Four, five, six, seven. Good game. Fuck. Oh, hey, yeah. Good game though. It was close. Didn't do any of the we 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 floated a little bit in the end. I needed to draw something more juicy. Hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, baby, let's go. I'm gonna drop this one super early. Ooh, I want black though. Don't mind red, but I, I want black. Black next turn, thank you very much. It's fine. Let's go for the barbarian play. Next. Chain barbarians. <laughs> That would be a little bit silly. Uh, okay. I'll trade here if he wants to. Ah, do I? I'll test him. Pass. My turn. Ooh, actually that is pretty dope. I'm not gonna... Am I, am I, am I willing to trade there? I'm gonna trade if he wants to. Now we can at least drop the dragon next turn. Nice. Give him nice for that. We need black mana. Pass. My turn. Okay, well then drop the dragon. Drop the dragon! Okay, black will be kind of good here, just twice in a row. I wanna... Oh, that sucks. That's a good card, flexible. Vad sa du? Vad betyder det? The drop the dragon, som jag sa. Nej, conjure. Drop the dragon. Spela draken. Jag har en drake, Matilda. <laughs> Okay, we're not out of this, but we need to draw black now. Nice. So, do we take another hit? We could just uh, straight up kill this, and yeah, probably the safe choice, right? Ugh, don't like it. Yeah, let's do it. I don't want to take any more beating here. I'm just gonna go for it. I don't know if that is the right play. What would Nami do? Uh oh. Oh. Well, actually, I'm happy I did it. Okay. Come on. Oh, let's go. Uh, Scry 2. At the beginning, we upkeep Exile 5. Yeah, yeah, this is a win con. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow, this is also pretty good. At the beginning, we upkeep each opponent discards a card. But I think this is just a better win con. Each opponent loses real unless they play sacrifice non and permanent or discards a card. Damn, that's good. At the beginning, we upkeep. At the beginning, we upkeep scry 2. Okay, so. Losing through unless they sacrifice a non and permanent. Do we want to force them to sack cards? Is that what we want? Is that better? A non and permanent or discards a card. I think we're gonna make him discard a card. Nah, let's go with this one. Next. No attacker. End turn. Next turn we will just start to mill him. And then he can sacrifice a permanent or discard a card. To his... Oh no. Okay, that's fine. Which one? Yeah, the middle one. It was more scared of that one. I understand that. That one is scarier. Three life. Or sec. Okay, nice. Ooh, that's good. So, we're gonna go like that. And then we're gonna use the treasure. And do like this. And 
then. How many creatures do I have in my yard? One. That's not that lot. Mm. Yeah, let's go. I'll offer up a trade here. If he wants to. This just gives plus up. Oh, okay. That's interesting. I'm not gonna sack my barb. This. Okay. Let's see what Lance is looking for here. Green. Well, well, well. He's all over the color palette. Okay. So he brings back an old bear, I would assume. Mm -hmm. Oh, Meteor Golem, of course. Stupid of me. Let's see if it's like permanent here. But even so, like, these are just. This, uh, the, uh, this one is just gonna kill him. My. So this one, what does it do as black? Mm. Then coming to duplicates, okay. Yeah, sure, we can ditch this land, we don't need it. Go. Come at me, bro. Oh no, that was a. I attacked with my hag? The hell did I do that for? That was a mistake. <laughs> oh my god, that was the huge. Now he's gonna stabilize. <laughs> What did I do that for? Oh, and now he shoots this one and he's completely stable. Absolutely wrecking. Oh, that's good. Though. Yeah, let's go. Do I fight with this though? I don't think so. Fight like that. Yeah. And I draw a card. Thank you. Damn, feels feels like a chum here. What does the red uh, black do here? Uh, okay, that's pretty good. So this is actually pretty devastating for him. Now that we specialize as my turn. Then we go like that. Ditch this. Yeah. Kill the death toucher. And then just go for it. Bye bye. Man, even so, like, we screwed up this game. How are we even doing this? I guess we have just such a powerful deck that me screwing up is kind of. Uh, it's okay. My, de my deck is very forgiving. Holy smoke. We're doing well, but... Do we deserve it? I don't know, man. Oh, so many mistakes. Okay, let's go. Queuing up. We're up against win hour. We will see. So removal, rouser, good, good, good hand. Rampart to the dragon. Hello! We didn't get our war caller. We want the war. Ah, that's nice. Actually, I'm gonna steal it from him. If he. Unless he plays another. This one. I hope he doesn't play a creature. Please, please, please don't. Oh, actually, this one is good. No! That's the worst he could possibly. Because now we can sack this one. Oh. Okay. Ah, that was unfortunate. 
I don't want him to sack a little token, dude. So next turn we'll go dragon though. That's gonna feel good. Go up in there. Yeah, let's go. See if there's any answer. He can have a punch effect. I just punch my dragon with his basilisk. Let's see. Oh, dragon's fire. And he's gonna reveal a linen. Okay. This one I. Oh no! Yeah, it's actually good that I will blow him out on the linen with my. Uh, this spell. That's fine. So. Will he. Mm mm. We're screwed here, right? Actually, let's do this. I hope he blocks and I'll shoot the giant. Okay, that's great. <sighs> He's still winning this game. But now... Damn. To give something counters. Ah, it's fine. Actually, that was pretty good for me because now I will do this with good conscience. You sack something. What do you want? You can sack every 3 3 or give me one. Okay. Very nice. So it gives me a creature. Oh, it was 3 mana. Crap. Oh, I feel so bad. Well, well, we deserve this uh, loss. We deserve it. Ah, uh, this is game is over. Okay, that's fair. Yes, uh, because of what my kids played in my early games, I get stomped here. Mm. Okay, 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 okay. Let's go. Let's see if we can get the money back. That would be sweet, though. Hmm. Hmm. I think we can do better than this. Damn, we got these once again. Well, I only need one six drop. Let's drop this guy. Go for the dragon. Hello. Okay. Can still have our turn four dragon. That's nice. Maybe we actually. Okay, mills. Hmm. I want to put this on the dragon and go all in. I'm gonna do it. So actually, I will just do this, go in for attack, that's fine. You can have your land back, pay out my death touch guy, okay, nice. Then we're gonna play dragon. And then just equip it and just not go in for like a gazillion. Ooh, hourglass. Is that even better though? It's probably better than the dragon. Yeah, let's go. Uh, Warlocks, you have menace. At the beginning of your upkeep, scry 2. Okay, yes, concede to the hourglass. A turn for hourglass, concede. I like it. <laughs> Yummy, 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 that's how good it is. Damn. Okay, we five wins. Deck must do something good for us here. Because it's, it's for sure not me. Multiman. Ooh. I wish I had a... I go first, I love that. But I wish I had a war caller so I can go in for the horde. Well, for the horde uh, trickeries. 
I'm gonna play Ward on two here in case he doesn't have a two drop. Very unlikely, but you know, it could happen. It could be a one powered one as well, and then we get in for free, most likely, anyways. Okay, yeah, well, we won. Ooh, that's actually nice. So we go like that. We'll see if he. Yeah, he blocks. And we go like that. And Barbarian. And next turn, we will be able to fly in with the dragon with haste. It's gonna be sweet. That's gonna be super sweet. Please tap out, because I'm not gonna play into your counter spell. Then I'm not gonna do my play. But damn, do I have a fine play here. Turn four, haste, dragon. Yep, excellent. We're game. Because this, oh wait a minute, this one taps for mana. Uh, I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I can play into a counter spell, to be honest. Can I play into a counter spell? Yeah, if he has under simplify, I am blown out here. Like completely blown out. Because I will sack this. Yeah, I can't do it. Can't do it. I'm gonna fire this one off and discard my barbarian. Don't need it. Need two more new cards. See, he had the under simplify, so I'm super happy I, I uh, did not play my do I wanna still do this? Yeah, I think I'll do it. Nice. And now, the question is if I play something. No, I'm gonna just cancel next. And no attacks and time. So we still have our treasures here. So we'll still be able to do the play. And we draw the card, so eh. That was, but I, it would have been mega blowout if I cast my red dragon, sacrificed my little uh, barbarian, and, and you know, and he uh, would have countered it. So super happy with how that worked out. So now we're good. Now we can just go nuts in there. Pass. End of turn. Activate. This one has haste now. And then. Can we cut lane it? Boom! That gives us one more treasure. No, it's one shy. So then, oh man. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I wonder how greedy I should be. Because, okay, sure, I can do this now. But if I wait, this one will be even bigger because of the treasures. You know what? I'm gonna be greedy here as. Yeah, let's be greedy. I'm gonna be super greedy. Let's do it. So we, what we're gonna do is we're gonna Kalein. Then we're gonna stack this. Pay with treasure. And then I'm gonna attack with this one instead. Next time we're going with the dragon. Then the dragon will be even bigger. One, two, three, four, five. Need to draw land though. I will draw here. It was my not my intention to pay two treasures. That was a mistake. But it uh, fine sold itself. So we play out this one. Cool. We're doing good. This one is gonna be a problem for OP. Hopefully it taps out here. Again, I'm super scared of... Oh, that's fine. But it still has under simplified mana. No, it doesn't anymore. Very good. Now we can just go in for haste with the little dragon here. Hit him for four. Nine. We hit him for nine. See if he attacks me with this uh, muralist. He should. Or maybe he shouldn't. There we go. That's how it's done. Pay with treasure. <gasps> Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I thought I made a mistake there, but I had already given this one haste. So that's cool. Yep. Fine. Very good. Now we're in uh, in a good spot, because even the fiend lash here will just make any of these ones a big threat. Next turn I will equip it my horde robber, create treasures. If he doesn't block it, and if he blocks it, I shoot him in the face. And the treasures we will obviously use with Kalein. 
fine. Nothing here that bothers me, at the least. He's Christ for bottom, that's good. No, he hasn't dealt with my guy yet. Oh wow, not even attacking, that's awesome. Let's go. Let me see, can I do both? Yes, I can. So we're gonna go activate on this guy. And then we have play it. I'm gonna attack with uh, play with this. Like that. I'll go in like that. Do we want to attack with this one to create a copy? I don't think so, not yet right now. Hmm. Nice. Then I shoot him for three. This is a busted little spell. Nice. I think we have this game. Ooh. Well, it's a little bit. Yeah, it's, this one is super good, but it's extra good when he has um, ad adventure cards. Because he gets copies of its adventure, so that's super good. So it's a little bit slow in this case, because he's already dead here. Can't block my red dragon, then he dies. Actually, he won't die. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Am I... Can he come back from this door? Okay, let's see here. So I'm gonna do this. See if he blocks. Wow, that's great. And I shoot him for a six. Perfect. And we got rid of that threat. Keep this one for specialized abilities and whatnot. We're in a good spot. As long as we keep this little fiend lash, he can't block our creatures. Well, actually, he can block with this. Because this one, whenever it's dealt damage, it, if it is actually the power to. Okay, so we can jump block with these ones, I guess. It deals damage equal to its power to target play. Oh no! Okay, so 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 it will. Th this one will deal damage based on the power of my creature. So I will deal three, no matter how he does this. That's good. He needs to get rid of this. But if he gets rid of the, of the enchantment here, then he stabilizes. It's a good start. We have not won yet by any means. Well, actually, we are close. If we equip this to the buff, no, 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 no. Yeah, actually, if we equip it to the buff, guys, that's gonna be kind of nasty. Cause it will get to, let me see, do I have it here? Man, OP is doing a good job here. So let me see, if I equip this for three, then I have Three, four mana, can pump twice, that's five. I'm one shy of uh, lethal here. One shy of lethal. Damn. One shy of lethal. Damn, 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 will I even survive his uh, counter attack? Ooh. Okay, so let's see here. Uh oh. So 7, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay, here's lethal. Damn. Hmm. Actually, it's fine. Maybe. If I do it like this. Yeah. I think this is fine. 
So we do three here. Because this resolves uh, before his damage. Maybe. So if we do it like this and then we just drop it on this guy. Now we have possibly... Yeah, yeah, this should do it. If Unless he can remove it then we're in trouble. Damn, we had to think a little bit in order to wrap this one up, but unless he has a burn, uh, like a dragon uh, fire or whatever, that's not gonna do it. But he could still draw a dragon fire with and use this mana. No, actually, yeah. Yeah, and use this mana, yes, uh, all the colors here. But even dragon fire though, wait a minute, whenever he's dealt damage, yeah, dragon fire will kill him too though. I think we're off the, uh, off the clear here. No trample, no trample. Yeah, 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 we're good. GG, opponent. Ooh, I think. What? I'm so nervous here. <laughs> what could he possibly have? Nice. Damn, had to work it. Work it hard. Oof. Ay ay ay. Okay, final boss time. GGO2. Let's go. He is our final boss, and we have what? Decent hand. Uh, it's not the best, but it's not the worst. We have, uh, you know, we have some plays. Shambling gas, that kind of is a pro- Oh, now we're talking though. Okay, shambling gas is problematic. Um, but we want to play turn 6, this is basically our goal plan right now. So we're just gonna do like this and then pass the turn. Maybe I should have led with this one in case he has removal. I'm for sure not gonna block his shambling gas here. That's good. That's very good. Pass. My turn. Oh, he didn't want to trade. Okay, so this is great. Now we can Kalein and we have the mana in order to do an hourglass turn 6. If we're mega greedy here, we go and play out this one with a buff. But then we can't hourglass unless we draw a mana. Which would suck. Yeah, not gonna do it. I'm gonna chill here and turn. I wonder if all my three guys will get uh, the plus one one counter since all of them... Uh, I mean, I'm paying with treasure. We will see. This is gonna be super exciting to see. Hell no, I'm not blocking that for anything in the world. My big play is coming up here, so please tap out. Awesome. This is awesome. Super happy. Let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's uh, let's uh, flip the switch. Paper treasure. Scoop. That's how you take out the final boss. Bam! But now we didn't get to see whether we get three guys with a buff. But uh, I'm pretty happy. <laughs> Man! Woohoo! We made it. Scooping to the, the hourglass of Coven. That's how powerful it is. Man. Okay. We made it. And this, that's 100% thanks to the deck now, it's not thanks to me, I did so many misplays, but look at the deck, so good. Cobalt War Caller for uh, haste, and then we have this, all of these early plays, early aggressions, the rampers, the ones that duplicate themselves, Fiend Lash for like, uh, the, the, uh, doing that last bit of damage, really strong 2 drop slots, and then, um, you know, some removal and some pump stuff. Yeah, I feel very happy with the deck. It performed great, and then the top end, of course. So, hope you enjoyed the the, the games, and uh, thanks for tuning in. And uh, hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>